Just wonderful, as always, dilettante live in session with Surrogate Lover. Um, and uh, so, Francesca, we're not here to talk about BC Camp Live, but we met first time w- with your working with BC in his band. And is it right, I, I got told that he discovered you whilst you were busking, is that right? Um, yeah, I think he'd seen me out and about busking, and I'd seen him, uh, I used to work at the Broodnell in Leeds, and uh, yeah, we kind of, I'd seen him play and been like, oh, he's really good, but he's American, so I'll never see him again. And then, obviously, he moved to Manchester, and I was like, oh, he lives here, so... Right, yeah. okay. And so, when you were when you were busking, because I'm looking at you now with all of the, the kit that you've got, <laughs> you're a multi-instrumentalist, and it is great to watch, and your feet are going as much as your hands, <laughs> pressing all those loops, which completely bamboozle me anyway. Same. I have said it before, I've got an amplifier, the Marshall amplifier in here. It's got one pedal in it. I used to get confused with that. <laughs> that was reverb on and off. And so... All of, there would be a power surge in Salford tonight, I think, when you when you start <laughs> pressing all those buttons with your feet. And so I, I, don't, I can't work out how you can actually get your head around all that. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, I guess I just started with like, we started with like a really tiny little loop pedal. It was only like one thing you could do with it. And then I just went a bit crazy and over the years just accumulated a lot of stuff. I think that's all it is. Right, so <laughs> when, you were, when you were busking previously, mm. were you doing the loop thing? Because no, I've, no. Right. I've never... I've never left, uh, looped things when I was busking. I literally just play like jazz covers. Um, yeah, it's easy. It's easy money. Do you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but it is funny because I mean I know that the first time that well, Tune Yards and mm. Beth Jean's Hout and Du Blonde came in, mm. and they were using the uh, the yeah. loop pedals and everything, and it works a great yeah, effect. Tune Yards is actually why I use loop pedal. I Sorry? saw her, I saw Tune Yards when I was like uh, 18. Um, in Leeds and I was just like total like oh I'll just go and see a band tonight and it was Junior's and she was absolutely amazing and uh, that's why I use loop pedal I, it took me like six years after that to actually get one but um, yeah I just always thought it looked really cool and she was really funny and cool so she is she's all those things yeah, yeah. Um, so um, Tantrum your album yes. um, a, a masterpiece really we all loved it how far are you into um, the next one um, it's pretty much written um, it's really just like you know, like the slog of getting everything recorded and sounding good and all that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm hoping next year, late next year, I think, is the plan. Okay, yeah. okay. And, and you further complicated things in the best possible way, besides <laughs> what you're doing, by now embarking as part of a, uh, a five piece. And uh, these, yes. this is going to be the case for the upcoming live shows, which we'll get to in a bit. Yeah. Um, so, and, and this is the first performance, it as is, it were, yeah. of the five yeah. piece. So, uh, you know, loaded questions. Of course, we'd be here how great it is, but how's it going so far for everybody? <laughs> I think everyone's doing really well. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, yeah, that first song was the first time we've ever played that song and the first time we've all ever played together. So I don't know. I think that was, it definitely could have gone worse, right? <laughs> oh, no, it's great. <laughs> it was good. Did, so you clearly had some idea about what you, what you, who you needed to, to make yeah. make the song sound as you wanted them to sound live, mm-hmm. yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and what, was, what was the thinking there? Um... I always wanted to have uh, lots of, like, you know, female vocals and, like, doing the harmonies live, but I, like, didn't know any women, so <laughs> I just knew these guys. Um, no offense, so, like... You know, yeah. I just, I had to, I had to just loop them, but, um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's sounding really cool with, like, actual yeah, real-life vocals. And there's also a double trouble saxophone as well. Yes, L- last exactly. night, yeah. Mark and I were having a very uh, ill-informed conversation, and we, <laughs> did, we didn't even call it a baritone saxophone. I think I was calling it a bass saxophone, oh, um, yeah. which and my dad was a saxophone player, and so to my shame. But <laughs> there very much is. Uh, Caitlin has a uh, baritone saxophone here to great effect. It makes an incredible and brilliant noise, doesn't it? It sure does. Yeah. I said before, it could, I mean, those two saxophones together could knock a house down. I tell you, it's just <laughs> staggering. Really, really amazing. Uh, and I was going to ask as well, the, the upcoming tour, the, there will be a merchandise stall, I yes. presume. Yes. Um, will it have, uh, are there any new products on offer? Are those, you've got the angst magnets, mm-hmm. which yep. are pretty good. Uh, hopefully they tick over in terms of sales. Yeah, they take a lot of effort though, because I like print them out and then cut them all up myself. <laughs> oh, really? So, so yeah, there's a lot effort but yeah they'll be back we've got uh, earrings we've got um t-shirts fantastic. like weird merch so. yeah, yeah it's good yeah. we need to go to mass production perhaps with the with the yeah. with the magnets yeah. at some point <laughs> okay um then you can play two more numbers for yes. us um yeah we're gonna do a sad one um this is called unaware mm-hmm. 